The NHL trade deadline is just around the corner. That's Dennis Bernstein in Las Vegas. I'm Dave Pinota here in Toronto. And DB, we saw two defensemen get moved on Saturday. Brandon Montour is a Florida Panther. And David Savard is now a member of the Lightning with a tiny little pit stop in Detroit. How does this impact the Bolts and the Panthers? Well, Dave, if you're a Tampa Bay Lightning fan, you got to love your team. They're going for it again, Dave. A first and a third to get David Savard, but a stay-at-home defenseman on the right side, a right shot defenseman, something they absolutely need to bolster their lineup. You got to love that. In Florida, look, Brandon Montour is not a replacement for Aaron Eckblatt, but he does give offensive punch to that blue line as they try to get out of the central. It's going to be a tall task uh, without Eckblad, uh, but a smart move, an inexpensive move to bring in Montour from Buffalo. And the Sabres not retaining any money on that deal either gives them an opportunity to do so on other players. We're expecting them to retain on Taylor Hall once that happens. But in terms of the defensemen still available, DB, Matthias Ekholm, Rasmus Ristolainen, and Josh Manson all have one year left on their deal. They're being discussed. And it sounds like at least Ekholm and Manson, the asking price includes a first-round pick. Would you pay that as part of a deal? Um, if I got the Josh Manson of three years ago, Dave, I would. Matias Ekholm, definitely. If I'm getting Matias Ekholm of a playoff team for two playoff runs this season and next because he's signed for next season, I would absolutely give a first and a prospect for a guy who's a top four defenseman, physical and, and smart. So that would be a trade I would make uh, with respect to that. With respect to Josh Manson, I wouldn't go first round. I'd probably go second round, B-level prospect because his last couple of seasons in, in Anaheim have not been good, but maybe on a different team and a different structure, he, he could regain his prowess that he had a couple of seasons ago. We know Carolina's trying to get somebody on that right side. Winnipeg's just trying to find anybody to slot into the top four. I wonder if they would be more willing to give up a first-round pick, perhaps more so for Matthias Ekholm. DB, we saw a couple guys go on waivers as well on Sunday. Sammy Votnin, Victor Mete, two guys that can be plucked for nothing at this stage. But there are other defensemen that are available out there. Ryan Murray and Dmitry Kulikov out of New Jersey. We'll see what transpires in the next little while here as the trade deadline will be here before we know it. That's Dennis. I'm Dave. Check out more on the fourth period.